Hey guys, Greenfee Gaming, and welcome back to another video. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine or shaders for 1.15 Minecraft. It is truly amazing, so stick around to the end. All right, so one of the first things you're going to want to do is head over to this Optifine website. I will have a link in the description, and you're going to click on Preview Versions right here. Now you're going to make sure it's Optifine 1.15.2, and you're going to not click Download. You're going to click Mirror. So once you click mirror, it should take you to this website here. And now there's going to be some ads in the bottom. It's just like a normal download website. You're just going to click on download preview Optifine. Now on the bottom, it's going to say this type of file could harm your computer. It cannot. You're going to press keep. Do not worry. This is not a virus. I've downloaded Optifine files millions of times. It is not a virus. Don't worry, guys. Now you're just going to run, drag it to your desktop and go to the second link. Now the second link should take you to a website like this. Trust me, when I first saw it, I thought it was very sketchy. The download button looks really sketch, but trust me, this is the official Java website and you're gonna wanna download this in order to run Optifine. So click download and now click agree and start free download. So now that it's downloading, it shouldn't take too long. It should take a few seconds depending on your Wi-Fi, but you just wanna wait for it to download. So now that the file's downloaded, you're just gonna wanna drag it to your desktop and follow the next few steps. So now on our desktop, we have Optifine on the bottom and a Java installer on the top. So what you're going to want to do now is click on the Java installer and it should bring up, you know, this little verifying tab. It shouldn't take too long depending on your computer's performance and it's finished already. So you're going to click on this and it's going to open up a little window and you're going to click open. Now I was prompted to enter in my username and password. So if it prompts you to do that, just enter it in. Now it's going to open up this little window, welcome to Java, and you're going to just click install. Now it's going to install Java, it may take a while depending on your computer, again this is kind of a variable so it's just going to take a little bit of time. Now it's installed, you have successfully installed Java, and now you're going to click close. Now you're going to close out of these and you don't need these two things anymore, it should pop up as a little installer, you don't need that and you don't need this. So we're just going to drag these into the garbage. Okay, so now that you've gotten rid of the Java installer files and you've installed Java, you're going to click open with and jar launcher. So you're going to open this Optifine file on your desktop with jar launcher. So it's going to open up, you're going to click open and a little window should pop up. There we go. And it's going to be Minecraft Optifine installer and you're going to click install. Optifine is successfully installed. Okay. So now you're going to want to load up Minecraft, and before we can load up Optifine, we're just going to load up normal Minecraft and just play that to make sure everything is running smoothly. Okay, so Minecraft 1.15 is loaded up here, and you don't have to enter in a world, you don't have to do anything, it's just loaded up, that's all you have to do, so you just have to quit the game, and you should be good. Okay, so you're just going to want to load up the Minecraft launcher here, and you're going to click down here and just press Optifine. This should be the last time you have to load it up, you shouldn't have any more problems, you're just going to click Optifine. Make sure Optifine is there, and you're going to hit play. Okay, so I have Optifine loaded up here, 1.15. I actually have 1.14 shaders running, but I'm just going to show you guys a few shaders that can improve your gameplay, make everything look nice. Silver's Vibrant Shaders here is my personal favorite shaders, but if you want to get your own shaders, you can just search up shaders. There's a ton of shaders for Minecraft because it is an extremely old game, and there's a ton of development going on for shaders. But anyway, this is my favorite shaders, Silver's Vibrant Shaders, and my computer is kind of booby, so I'm just going to download the light version and click download. Now, most times a little thing will pop up, you can just click OK, but do not click on anything else below about there. It'll say like, oh my gosh, blah, 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 Adobe Flash Player is out of date. You're just going to press skip. So now it's taken you to Media Fire, and you're just going to click download. It's an extremely light file. You're just going to drag it to your desktop. So now once you've closed out of Google, you're going to go on where the little Apple logo is and click go. And now you're going to want to hold the alt or option button on your Mac keyboard, and it's going to ring up a little kind of subfolder titled library and you're going to click library and now you're going to click application support this folder right here and you're going to click minecraft right here and now you're going to find shader packs so it should be right here so right now I have a ton of shaders installed on my computer but you're just gonna want to take this little file you've downloaded and drag it 
right into the shader pack folder. That's all you have to do, it's really that easy, and I'll show you guys how to load it up in the game. So now that Minecraft's fully loaded up here, you're just going to want to go in a single player world, probably just to test the shader. So now this is a normal 1.15 Optifine world in complete vanilla Minecraft. So what you're going to want to do to activate your shader is press escape and now click options. And now you're going to want to click video settings. And now you're going to click shaders right here. And now it should open up this little kind of slider here with all the different shaders. There's an extreme amount of shaders and they can do a ton of stuff to improve the visuals of your gameplay. Well, thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial on how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.15. Leaving a like would be amazing, subscribe would be fantastic, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!